Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So today we're gonna cover the physics server 2D and last video I covered the 3D version. So now we're gonna do 2D. So this is just a quick setup that I did. So alright, let's get to it. So what we need to do for 2D is about the same as 3D. So first we need to create a body, and then we need to set its space, and we're gonna use the get world 2D for that. Then we're gonna add a shape, then we're gonna set its initial transform, and then for rendering. Same as before, we're gonna use the canvas item. So we're gonna create a canvas item, set its parent, and add a texture, and then set its transform. And then we need to update its transform on the physics process to match up with the physics body. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. First, let's get two variables. So the object will be the physics object, and then the image will be the texture. Then we need a box shape. So we're gonna use the rectangle shape 2D. That's gonna be for the collision shape, and a reference to the texture. So let's go to the object and the wrong one. Let's just apply the texture for now. Load the icon, save, and on ready. Before we do anything, let's set the shape, the size to be 64 by 64. That's the collision shape size. So it would match up with the texture. So by default, the texture is 64. And let's get the physics server 2D. Let's get a reference to it. Then we could say object dot physics server 2D dot create body or body dot create. Let's use that yes then we set the space so we could do get world 2d a space that's coming from this node and where is the space and remember to do object here and we say body add shape object and set that box shape and let's create a transform so we set it to be roughly the middle of the screen and negative 10 on the y and we could say ps dot body or body that set per Set state and then we say object transform body 2d state transform and then pass a trans. Now that's all we need for this. So if we want to actually see what's happening, we need to now create a rendering. So let's use that texture. So we're gonna use the render server. So RS rendering server. We say image RS canvas item create. And we say RS canvas item set parent uh, image and then canvas item get canvas item. Now we need to say RS that canvas item that add texture rect. The image rect two. Remember we set it negative thirty two and negative thirty two and then sixty four uh, sixty four. Remember that set it to be the offset so it's centered. Then we pass in that texture and we set it transform. So RS dot canvas atom it transform mg and we'll give it the same transform. There you go. Now if we run it, we need to update. So there's it all the way up there. And the actual physics object is right here at the moment. So we need to update that image. So let's use the physics process for that. We need to save our trans equal physics server 2D. 2D. My bad. Body dot get state. We say object dot transform. Body state transform. And then we just pass it to the rendering server. Dot canvas atom set transform. Let me say image img and trans. Now remember to delete. So let's go to on exit tree or exit tree. Say physics server. Physics server that free already, and then rendering server that free already, and that should be it. Yep. Now that should be the end of the video, just to get you guys to understand it. So if you want to see how I did this actual up here, all this going on, pretty much the same as the 3D version. So let's look at it. So first, I have an array of objects, and I have a count. So I'm doing 300, and I'll say create objects pass it the default to zero and then I just use random here and set it to be between 10 and negative 10 then right here set parameter I'd let it set the friction to be 0.1 so let's go back here to try that so right after set state we could say ps dot uh let's see body set param so for example let's set the bounciness maybe so object dot parameters and here are all the options so bounce Let's set this to be 0.8. It's between 0 and 1. Now we should see it bounce. Go. 
And that's it. You guys could figure out the rest on your own. So, have a good one, guys. Like and subscribe. See you guys in another video.